Hi YouTube, how's it going? It's Ash the Tash. Uh, just doing a quick vlog to see how we're all doing. Um, didn't talk much on the last vlog. Uh, was actually busy get, trimming the beard for most of it, so concentration levels were quite high on, on that part, and I didn't really do much talking. So, Yeah, I mentioned before I cut the beard off about Slimming World. So I've been on there since the 1st of May, and I've lost over a stone, I think, so far in weight. So it's pretty good going. I'll go for my weigh-in tomorrow morning to uh, see what the overall weight loss is. But I think it's about a stone or there or thereabouts. Uh, still three or four stone I want to lose. So I don't think I'm going to do that before I go away in November. Uh, it would have been awesome if I had. But I just don't think it's going to be a possibility if I'm honest with you. So never mind. It's my own fault. Um, yeah, about the dog. The dog's had a ear infection in one year. And he was shaking his head loads one night. And we were like, why is he shaking his head? Checked inside of his ear and it was bleeding. Like there was bloody horrible looking stuff running down his ear. So we took him straight to the vet the day after and it was so inflamed they couldn't see what was going on. So they had to put him under an aesthetic and then clean his ears out. Which turned out he had some sort of infection. Um, so hot in this house. Like she's sweating with shiny head. Um, so that was bad. And then we had to go back again to get ear drops and then a third time to get tablets and then a fourth time once he'd finished the tablets to see if he was alright and he got the all clear awesome sauce uh, three or four days after we'd finished it with the other fucking ear got an ear infection back to the vets and more money and um, turns out we weren't covered on our insurance our insurance was for accident only which we didn't realize because I don't know we're not very good you know with insurance and stuff I don't know I don't know who is uh, so yeah, it was a bit of a absolute kick in the stones, but there you go, um, absolute nightmare. Then I was bad. Uh, Cody's been bad for quite a while with teething. Um, obviously, he's only two, and he's getting all a lot of teeth coming through at the same time, which for him must be absolutely brutal. So he's got loads and loads of uh, teeth popping through at the moment. So he's got the poos again. So he had them for a little while and he got some teeth. And now we start with it again, so we always have to go upstairs and check two or three times a night to make sure he hasn't sort of pooed out of his nappy, which you can imagine for a little child that must be awful. And then uh, Travis was bad for a day, then I got bad. Madison was a little bit bad. So it's just been, I think there's a change in seasons, isn't it? When kids catch everything at school and stuff like that, so naff. But I wanted to vlog just to, just to explain the dog thing, because I know... Um, some people have asked me what, what was going on with the dog and I hadn't really explained it very well so, oh sorry I'm burping, I've had um, loads of Pepsi, Diet Pepsi a day so burping it all up um, so I just thought I'd mention it to tell you why what's that on my lens there? oh it's reflection new camera oh, my, what I'm actually recording with here is um, Allegria HFG HFG25, sorry, autofocus, there we go, the dog's messing about on the back, um, yeah, and I've got a Duracell battery on the back, a BP808, so this is, all this video is recorded with um, a third, like, you know, I can't know what to call them, aftermarket battery by Duracell, it's really good battery, uh, it's still got, I mean, I've used it for a few minutes, f over four minutes, and we still have 103 minutes left of recording time, that's pretty good. Exactly the same as the other one. Apparently you can get different batteries for this camera. But some people say they do work. Some people say they don't work. But these BP-808 seem to work quite well. So I think I might keep to those. Um, so yeah, this is this is the camera we're going to be taking to Florida with us. To record the holiday. Me and uh, Nicholas spend a lot of time watching holiday videos to Florida. It's like a little hobby, I guess, on YouTube. So we're going to be doing quite a bit of that. Recording our own videos when we're there. And hopefully uploading them, I don't know, probably on her channel, I'm not sure, but I'll always link them, I'll probably do it on mine as well, because I'm you know, really excited about going, it's took us almost five years to get the chance to go, it's costing a fortune, but it's one of the sacrifices when you have three children, everything costs more, um, so the flight to cost like 2000 I think, and then the house, and the car, and the spending money, and the children spending money and Nicola wants to buy some theme park tickets 
So, with that being said, you can see it's like an expensive do. But I want to do it. I'm sure if you're sat there thinking, of, I want to go to Disney, I want to go to Disney. So, it needs to be done. Uh, yeah. So, that's why we've got this camera. I'm shaking all over. Um, obviously, I'm into technology anyway, and I like having all this sort of nerdy stuff. But this camera. Um, it's got a CMOS sensor, what people don't realise about a CMOS sensor is that when you record something that moves, little lines appear and it's horrible, it looks, the raw video on this camera looks horrendous to me. Um, but I use software to edit videos and it renders the videos and actually takes all that crap out. So for, for like this video you wouldn't tell a difference, this would just be a normal looking vlog because there's not much movement and if there's movement it's not fast. But my last vlog, when I cut the beard off, uh, at the start of the video, Madison was running around um, in a Nana Street, in a Nana Street, and you can see on the raw video, it's horrible lines, like really bad. Like you can't tell what her top looks like, and it's just a mess. But when you convert it and render it in software, then it looks really good to me. So that's something weird. I think I need to get a UV filter because it's got like a thread on the inside of the lens. So I think I'm going to try and get a UV filter, but I'm not sure if I can keep this thing on. I'll see if I can take this off. Yeah, this goes on the front cover, uh, the, the sort of the, the front part, and as you can see, it's got a little button on the side. They open and close. That's the sort of. You watch, I won't be able to get this back on now. Oh. What was I doing taking this off in the video? What an idiot! Um, and then you can you can you can automatically zoom with the the circular outside of it as well. Excuse me, so it's a bit dirty. Um, I don't know how to do that. I don't even want to test it on manual. Like I don't know if it's me, you need to start getting used to it. So if I can get this put back on, sorry, it's going to look horrible. There. Um, yeah, Nicholas saying I know you get used to the camera, read the instructions and stuff, and you know do all that kind of thing getting it all uh, set up this is just on like automatic mode but this is on auto mode and if I was to move the camera really fast you'd see in the top left hand side of the, of the actual display it changes the type of setting it's on and it auto focuses back in again so that's like awesome you can even take photos so this will be the artwork for the video where is it? in the middle So I just took a photo there. I'm not sure, I think I took a photo. Some more strange faces. Um, and they will be the artwork. So I, I could let you know, I also say we were in Disney. And Madison meets Mickey Mouse, Travis is buzzing, Cody's like, ah, and they all turn around. I can just click a button that says photo, and it takes a snapshot at that exact moment. I'm not too sure of the quality of photo, We'll find out when I use it for the artwork for this video, but um, it's pretty awesome. Like, I'm really happy with it. Uh, cost me a lot of money. Um, I got a loan out because our roof was leaking. Um, you probably, probably told you about it towards like the middle of last year, and it was horrendous, and it cost us quite a few thousand pounds. But I thought I'd get a little bit more, and I got the camera because I knew when we're going to Florida, I really want to record some good videos. So. I'm excited about that. That's well, that's not for a while, but it's going to be awesome. Um, so I'll end this video now, and this is just sort of a talking vlog, not really a action-packed one. But anybody who's interested in like the Canon Legrier or the Duracell battery, or you know the the thing on the front, I'll just show you a little bit how how it works. Then hope this has been helpful. Um, it's also just an update to people who do watch my vlogs. Um, that I'm alright, and the dog's alright, um, he's still under medication because his ear is still bad, but hopefully he'll come through okay. Um, thank you for your time, and have a great day, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.